Hey guys, what's up? My first tutorial I'll be doing. Um, I found a, I found an easy and awesome way to give you that sort of film look. And please bear with me. I didn't really keyframe the video right, so it's gonna be a little edgy. And um, but yeah. So you first you're gonna drag drag on your uh, video onto your timeline, as you can see. You're gonna wanna click on event pan slash crop. Okay, open that up. Okay, we got that open. And you're gonna wanna get that sort of widescreen look. They they have a preset built in here for you. You're just gonna go down to widescreen. That's pretty self-explanatory. Just click on that. Okay, you're gonna get out of that, and um, now you're gonna. Uh, where is the media generators? Yeah, media generators. Sorry, I'm new to this. Okay, give me some slack. <laughs> um, throw a white on top of your video track. Okay, and then uh, set it to how long your video is. And you're gonna want to go to event effects and chroma key okay you're gonna key this wide out so it looks like that alright so get out of that go to compositing mode button and go to overlay sorry that was really fast but you wanna go, you wanna go to overlay and as you could see before and now as you can see it's already added a little coloring effect but if, if you're just like mine it'll be all dark and everything so we're just gonna switch over to levels and give it some brightness so you're gonna go to video effects levels and please please bear with me I I know you might think I'm quiet or something but it's my first tutorial and just thought you know um, gonna go to levels and then just get it where you want. So, you know, just mess with it a little bit. Um, yeah, that looks pretty good. Um, uh, just a little bit more, and then once you're done with that, you're gonna get out of that. And I like adding a gradient map to it, just gives it a little. So you're going to go to gradient map and add whatever you want, but I, I like adding warm. See that kind of boosts your yellows, and then you're going to take it down to whatever you want. And that looks good. Then after that, okay, you're going to, I, I like adding the cool, it will boost the, wa the blue in my picture. And yeah, there you go. And you can, you can either hit blend or add whatever works best with you um, yeah I'm sorry I need to work on my tutorial giving uh, but and, and then you can mess with the color correcting and you know I like adding I like desaturating my video a bit just gives it kind of that shady movie looking tint so I just go to that and take the saturation down. 